Oh, bitch, I scroll down. Why the fuck I see that makeup on her shit? Why is the makeup that we went half on on her website? It says not named what we named it. It's something totally different. Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching Miss Angelique TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything, I mean like. I have no idea what I'm going to name this video. Before we get into the story, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss my other story times. If you haven't watched my other story times, if you're new or whatever that is, go ahead and watch my other story times too after this video. That way you can just see all of the different crazy life experiences that a bitch has been through, okay? Disclaimer. This video isn't to make anyone look bad. This video isn't to bash anybody, talk about anybody. All characters in the story, I wish nothing but the best for. I'm going to just say that. I just want to share my experience because I feel like a lot of people may make this mistake or have made this mistake. And if you ain't make that mistake before or yet, I want you to not make that mistake after you watch this video. If you are thinking about starting a business or starting something, bitch, that involves money and, and product and stuff like that, if you know who I'm talking about, I don't want to see no names dropped in comments. Let's go ahead and get into it. Not many of us help them. Let's talk about friends. Let's talk about it. Um, as y'all know, I currently on my own cosmetic line called Angelic Touch Cosmetics and before Angelic Touch Cosmetics was Angelic Touch Cosmetics I was doing a little something different similar very very similar but with someone else so we're gonna go back fast forward in 2019 my bad y'all my editor accidentally left this part out but I named the character in the story time Cassie only reason why I named her Cassie is because at the time I was watching Euphora and that was the only thing on my mind. So Cassie is her name, okay? Back to the video. Cassie and I, we were really, really good friends. Um, at this point, we have been friends for like three years now. And we, we did the same. I don't want to get into exactly like how I met her because I feel like it's, it's even more revealing to say that like unless you already know you already know but for the ones that don't know I don't want to just say too too much but we did the same shit we have the same hobby in common okay and so um that's how we ended up meeting she was real cool she was she was older than me a couple years older than me but uh, she had some children I had children and she was like a ride or die like she went through some shit with me as far as like different relationships that i've been through like she can't have my back and you know i came stay at her house and like we, we were like family like type shit so i'm just kind of describe the the friendship <laughs> so yeah the friendship was cool never had no issues like i've all always somewhat kind of looked up to her because like she used to just do her own like she used to just do her thing like bitch, she had a lot of kids and i had a lot of kids too but like she used to do her own like she used to do her thing and i, I really admired her and i really admired that about her so like i said one day well started off with text and the text was just like bitch like you want to start a cosmetic line <laughs> and i was like you know what bitch i do like i've been thinking about it and i really have always thought about this because if you were day one and, and been following me since my old channel like the 16 year old angelique if you know what i'm talking about you know it, i've always been in makeup so those other videos that i did in the past like um i used to i remember going on ebay this is when ebay was like real popping um, I used to go to eBay and buy diff like little tubes of eyeshadow. It, it came in different like different colors, probably like 24 colors for an example. I'm just throwing out a number because it was blue colors, bitch. But I used to like mix them holes together and make different colors and get on YouTube and do my eyeshadow and show it off. <laughs> now that I don't think about it, like that shit was so lame and that's not how you make makeup sis <laughs> whoever the fuck was watching y'all was hyping me up i guess because I'm, i did a couple videos that like that i believe but that's just i'm just saying that to, to tell y'all i've always been in makeup so just, whenever she asked me about it i wasn't just saying like oh i've already I always thought about this just because i was just saying it just to say it 
I was dead ass serious. Like I've always loved makeup since the age of 12. Like I used to be walking around middle school looking like a fucking raccoon because I just love eyeliner and that's all I could really wear at that time because my mom didn't even want me to wear makeup, period. But you know, she used to let me slide with a little eyeliner. But I bitch mean, just always loved makeup. So so when she texted me and she um, asked me that, I was like, yeah, cool, let's do it. Um, we just started brainstorming together via text. I'm not sure if we came up with the name of the cosmetic line through text or what, but eventually she ended up coming to my house to do some more brainstorming. Like we was gonna try to figure out how we wanted the logo to look and all this type of shit. And you know, we were just Googling different images and she was drawing different um, examples of how our logo should be because we were eventually gonna have somebody like create the logo. Like we was gonna we were gonna come up with a logo on paper and then have somebody create it digitally if that makes sense we did that we ended up finding somebody or she ended up finding somebody actually as far as the logo um we paid for the logo i think we paid like we went half on it for sure but the logo probably like 150 dollars 100 dollars wasn't that much but we went half on it and you know we paid the girl the girl did the logo it was it was now that i'm like looking back at it, it was a real amateur ass logo but it, it was cute like the concept was really dope but it wasn't like professional, but we was trying to like, we, we knew eventually we were gonna have to spruce the little logo up. We just wanted a starting point. And so that was our starting point, getting the logo done and also coming up with the name. So it went from that to us customizing what we wanted our products to look like. Um, she found vendors, cause I wasn't really familiar with vendors at all. She was the one who found the vendor. She um, ended up, getting samples um, i think we went half on the samples we went half on damn near everything um but we got samples of the makeup and we were testing them out together yeah that's what we were doing actually uh, she had came to my house and we were testing the testing the makeup out and stuff trying to figure out which color we was gonna go with and this and that we eventually figured that the fuck out and you know we was we was getting a ball rolling you know what i'm saying so once we did that we also ended up customizing the packaging together we we tried to figure out how we were going to do that like everything was good like everything was good during this point like the actual building of the product or coming up with it like that that part was good you know we pretty much thought we pretty much was on the same page like it wasn't never any disagreements or anything like that like we liked the same shit so it was super super fucking easy for us so once we got the product and stuff, we we had the packaging. We still wasn't too sure how we were gonna package the eyeshadow into the certain packaging that we had. Um, but we we were just like, let's just do photos, figure out the website, let's just do those parts for right now, and then figure that other shit out later. So um, her Cassie's people knew of a photographer that did pictures bitch obviously or took pictures and we went half to pay the lady and we went to a local houston area and we did a, a photo shoot and it was me cassie cassie's friend and um another one of cassie's family members so um we it was it was all of us it was real cute you know um cassie she was more of the stylist type of um, friend, like I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a plain Jane ass bitch. Let me tell y'all, look, plain, plain ass bitch. I didn't even know what the fuck I was gonna wear in this video, but I'm a plain ass bitch. She, on the other hand, like she's real, like fashionista. She always dressed cute, know what's how to match shit together. So she um, came up with the concept as to what we were gonna wear and stuff like that. And and at this time, oh, I forgot to tell y'all, I didn't find out I was pregnant, bitch. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't forget that. Um, at this point, I'm pregnant. I'm really, really early on. I'm like early early on to the point where I'm, well, I was sick damn near half of my pregnancy so I can't say just because you know I was sick and I was early on but I was early on I wasn't showing anything like that it I probably was I probably was maybe no more than 12 weeks to be honest with you and um but I was real sick bitch my last pregnancy told me the fuck up okay like it told me up traumatized the bitch like ooh, glad I don't ever have another child ever again but I, a bitch was sick okay but you know we already had the photo shoot scheduled and we have to do what we have to do so you know I'm I'm drinking my little water got my little my um little candies <laughs> that I would suck on to help with the nausea even though it didn't fucking work 
Um, I'm, I'm keeping it together. I, I went throughout the whole photo shoot without throwing up, okay? So that was the good thing about it. So, you know, we, we're doing these photos. Everything's nice. It's really, really nice outside. We did the photos. But on my way home, you know, mind you, I said I didn't throw up the whole shoot. Girl, tell me why I'm driving home. Well, after we drive off together, because we all was, we all came in, came there together and we drove off together. And so, you know, I'm going this way, they're going the other way, bitch. I just had this, this feeling of, of, of nauseousness, like that just, woof, just, just came over me, bitch. And I had to hurry up and pull over to throw up, and so I did that shit and, you know, drove my ass the fuck home. Yeah, long ass day, but I made it through, I made it through. And the pictures were really, really nice. It did take us a while to get the pictures, thanks to the fucking photographer. She kept having so many excuses as to why she had photos, she had this going on, she had that going on. Like, girl, just send us the fucking photos. We ain't had no excuses as to how we was gonna pay you this money whenever you, you know what I'm saying, came to do the photos. But y'all know how people be. We eventually got the photos, probably like, I ain't much gonna lie to y'all, but like two months later. It <laughs> could have been a little bit longer, I ain't much gonna lie to you. But at least eight weeks. It took, it took a while. So at this time, um, we like she came to my house one time we were taking photos together with my green screen backdrop and you know we were just trying to take new pho photos with the product to start help building for the website pretty much because she subscribed to the website like her uh, the subscription because it was like a monthly subscription she had that set up on her um, husband's account. That's one thing I can say that I didn't put in on which was the website. It was like $36 a month and it got automatically drafted out of um, her husband's account. So I didn't I didn't pay, pay for that but we didn't have the subscription for really that long. I don't remember how long but um, as we stopped doing things like it didn't really make sense for the money to keep coming out if we weren't using it but yeah we we, we were just still trying to build and stuff now as i got bigger in my pregnancy with gavin obviously i couldn't do anything or not couldn't do anything but it was a lot going on i was out of work and stuff like that so we everything was kind of like paused in a sense because like i mean we didn't really know what we were going to do as to how we were going to put the eyeshadows in there and then we were also just trying to wait until I finished being pregnant, bitch, so we could kind of like get the ball rolling for real, for real. Um, eventually, we ended up buying the bulk product of the eyeshadow that we were going to be selling. And uh, it was shipped to her house and she got it or whatever. It was like a, it was a big old, big old bin of eyeshadow. I had never seen nothing like that before. But we got it, bitch, and you know, she had everything at her house. Um, you know, cause that's, it was, it was big. It didn't make sense for her to bring to my house. Like, I knew it was gonna be safe and sound over there. So, you know, it was good where it was. So, as my pregnancy comes to an end, we're still cool, you know. Um, it even got to a point where, and I don't really think I'm gonna name this other person cause it's not really relevant, um, or the name isn't really relevant, but she had a friend as well that she was cool with i think from like high school or something and so um i ended up getting you know acquainted with a friend and we started talking in group chats together or group chats it was me cassie and cassie's friend and we were like we were real cool and you know I'm, whenever i went into labor um, i was texting them the whole time and you know they were just helping me along the way pretty much as i'm in labor because my labor was kind of long up until the end and girl, a bitch ended up having a natural label, long story short. But um, I have baby, um, they're like congrats and stuff like that. They were really happy for me and you know, things were just things, you know. So as a couple of weeks went by, like me, I noticed her and I, and I'm talking about Cassie, I'm my mouth drives fuck bitch. I noticed Cassie and I started talking a lot less, but I figured maybe is because like duh but she's had a baby like you know she's been considered as fuck she's not gonna be on my, my line and you know what i'm saying trying to hang out anything like that like i obviously just had a baby after i had the baby things started to just get a little weird um you know like i said we we were we were talking and we, we still talk every now and then but uh like the group chat that i was telling you about that we were in along with her friend, like we used, we went from talking every day to every other day to 
every other week to just none at all. Like I said, I just figured it was because they were probably just trying to give me some space or not really big because I, you know, I wasn't really just tight with the other girl. But at least Cassie, I was just like, maybe she's just trying to give me some space. So I wasn't really tripping about it. And I was also going through my own thing. Like, I wouldn't necessarily say I dealt with postpartum depression again because if you've been following me, you know, if you've been following me, you know that my third child, which is my second son, um, Junior, he, I experienced like horrible postpartum depression. I had to go into the psych ward, that stuff like that. I got a whole video story time about that. So if you wanna watch that, go ahead and watch that. Even with that, during that time, she, in the time that I'm speaking of, during that time that I was having trouble with mental health issues whenever I had Junior, like she was still checking up on me or whatever. Like she even came to see junior um, she didn't come to see him right away my news is in 2018 so she didn't come and see him right away she probably came maybe a month or so afterwards i don't know um but she came to see him and came to see me and you know check up on my heat she even bought him an outfit you know what i'm saying like she was it was everything was cool but this time was a bit different and it was weird because at this point we live close as fuck at this point like she literally lived in the same area that I lived in not even 10 minutes away so it wasn't that the fact that we was far I felt like whenever I lived whenever I had junior she lived even further than we were you know to now so it was just weird but I, again I wasn't really you know I'm, I always give people with situations the benefit of the doubt um, even though I'm, I'm an overthinker like I overthink the fuck out of things but sometimes i'd be wrong so i don't like to overthink too much especially if i don't know or especially if i feel like this person isn't giving me a sign to like feel this type of way and really at that time she wasn't other than the fact that maybe she just giving me some space so i i noticed that she started hanging with another group of friends and when i mean hanging out i don't really necessarily mean physically because we never really hung out like that that often either but um on Facebook, you know, she was really, really involved in, you know how like when you cool with somebody, y'all tag each other and post and, you know, y'all got inside jokes, y'all got y'all group chat, you know what I'm saying? Like y'all, you got your circle of friends and I noticed she started becoming closer with these, these other women, but they were all like the same age. Like me and her weren't like a huge ass difference in age, but we still had a couple of years ahead of us. So they were, you know, a little bit more her age into the same thing like with makeup and um, even though I love makeup I, I don't consider myself a makeup artist you know what I'm saying so you know Cassie on the other hand she was really good at makeup you know um and the other ladies like they weren't as good as her but you know they were they, they did a little something something so they all kind of did the same thing and I want to say um like maybe she went to school with another one of the group of friends like i'm gonna say it's probably maybe like four different girls i don't really remember but i was friends on facebook with all of them because you know i'm the type of friend like if my friend introduced me to you or you know always bringing you up in conversation saying good things about you like and i see you on my timeline i mean and i see you on my suggestions like i'm a friendly ass bitch sometimes i'm probably you know friend you and and you know, I might not message you directly, but I'm gonna just, you know, probably add you as a friend because I know of you and you know, I feel like, why the fuck not? So <laughs> they they had a group group chat. These group of ladies that I'm speaking of, Cassie and these group of ladies, they had a group chat on Facebook that I knew of um, because she used to talk to me about it whenever we used to be on the phone and just, you know, tell me random stuff. And then it got to the point where I don't know how this conversation came up, but it got to the point where it was like, I'm going to add you to the group. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, she added me to, me to the group. Mind y'all, I only knew Cassie, you know, I didn't really, I didn't know really these other ladies. Like, you know, I, I didn't, it wasn't to the point where I didn't talk to them. Like I, I barely got in a group chat because I didn't really know them. But whenever I did, I wasn't afraid to like communicate with any of the other ladies and, you know, be cool, friendly and chill. So, you know, it wasn't really too awkward. But then it got to the point where I didn't really like some situations. I didn't really know what they were talking about because I like, either, you know, I'm doing something with the kids. I'm busy. You know, I'm not on my phone all the time. So it was like a lot of the conversations I missed because like, and like I said, I didn't really know them like that to just be quick to pick up my phone to see what somebody said unless it was Cassie. You know what I'm saying? So they're a cool woman though. All of them are cool. Um, they weren't 
mean or wasn't weird acting with me or anything like that. But um, one day, some just told me to check. And I was just like, hmm, let me see what they was, they've been talking about lately. And I noticed like absolutely nobody had been talking in the group. In that group chat on Facebook like for a while. And I'm just like, that's weird. But you know, I didn't think anything of it. I just thought maybe everybody got busy with life. Cause you know, shit happens and you know, that was that. But, um, and, and then I, at one point I ended up asking Cassie, I was just like, hey, what happened to the group chat? She was just like, yeah, we, you know, we, we all felt like since we all had each other number, we could just sex each other instead of just being all in the group. And it was a bit weird to me because I'm just like, okay, yeah, y'all have each other numbers, but it's a, a obvious reason why y'all put each other in the group chat so everybody could talk like together and not individually, but whatever. I was just like, okay, you know, all right, cool. I understand, cool. Blew it off, thought nothing of it. After that situation occurred, maybe, a, a, I don't know exactly the time frame of this, but it was pretty close in time. I mean, if it wasn't a couple days, it was maybe like a week or two, bitch. But um, I noticed that she, uh, you know how you, some, when somebody comment on under a picture, especially if you're friends with them too, like you can look at the other people's comments and see what they said or whatever and, you know it, it'd be like one of the first thing that pop up on your timeline if it's like a, a active conversation going in somebody comments so um it was one of those and i, I noticed i don't know who post it was but um whatever post it was i saw or i noticed that cassie had wrote underneath it was talking to another one of the young ladies who was also in the group chat that which is suddenly gone um, and she said something, I don't know exactly what she said, but it was along the lines of like, yeah, I'll send it in a group chat or I'm going to text it in a group or something in, about the group. All I knew it was she was doing something in a group. And I'm just, I thought to myself, the group, I thought she said they had each other numbers and you know they just decided to individually text each other so i was like okay let's not be stupid sis you already know what's going on like obviously they have another group chat and i wasn't even fucked up about it i was just like okay it's strange that she would lie to me about something like that because like i said me and, this, me and this girl we've never had issues like all our friendship was has always been good like always been good you know what I'm saying? Like, even up to this time, like, it was still good. Like, I didn't say, bitch, why you ain't invite me to the group? Like, I wasn't even tripping about it because at the end of the day, I knew that was her group of friends and I wasn't, like, mad at all. But it just, it was just the fact that it was a lie. Like, I didn't need that lie. Like, we're grown if y'all didn't want me to, in the group. You know, if I ain't cool enough to, to sit with the cool kids, then just say that. Like, it is what it is. Like, y'all ain't the only group of friends in the world. <laughs> so, um, you know, when I saw that, I was just like, yeah, I've been, been noticing. Like, we've been really, really distant. We don't really talk. You know, she don't call me. She ain't even came to see the baby like she did before. You know, like a normal friend would. Like, if my, because at this point, honestly, I consider her as my best friend slash sister. So, you know, it would have been normal for her to come in and see a bitch, but you know, I thought, you know, maybe she just had a lot going on because, you know, COVID had just started at this time and you know, shit, shit went, went, went on. Now going back to this, the friend that I told you Cassie had. Now this was the first friend that I told y'all about. I probably should have named her now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> but the friend that I told y'all we were in, it was me, Cassie and the other friend, we were just us in a group text and I was like texting about how my labor was going and shit. Yeah, that friend. That friend ended up getting pregnant right after me. I even went to the baby shower with Cassie. Me and Cassie went to this girl's baby shower. Mind you, I don't know this girl other than the fact that she went to high school with Cassie. So I'm supporting this girl, buying this girl baby gifts and shit like that. You know, or it was just like a, a little outfit or whatever. It wasn't no, nothing major, but it was it was a gift, bitch. You know what I'm saying? The day I got married, Cassie and the same girl came to my house and we did like a mini photo shoot or whatever. I, if I can find the pictures, which I'm pretty sure I can, bitch, I'll post a picture up here. Pretty much, like I said, Cassie, she was real, like she was a she was a fashionista, like she could she could hook something up, bitch. Like one thing about her, she could hook something up. And you know, she girl, it was a sheep. <laughs> it was a sheep. I, I probably looked like somebody off of the fucking um game of thrones bitch but you know she hooked it up and i was cute i had my little makeup done or whatever and 
and I'll show y'all the picture. But yeah, her and the girl, they came to my house, you know, to, to help me with this. And I took some photos or whatever. I never publicly posted this. So I just said that to say like how much I know of this girl to be able to like go to her baby shower. You know what I'm saying? Like she been to my house before. So, you know, it was appropriate for me to go to her baby shower. Moving forward to Facebook. We going back to the Facebook page. Um, Cassie's friend. Cassie's friend, she, like I said, she was probably maybe like eight months pregnant. She was getting ready to have a baby. She was, she was far along, getting ready to have a baby. I saw Cassie write on her on her wall, or she wrote something, tagged her and something. I don't know what it was, but whatever it was, she was talking to the friend. So Cassie said something along the lines of like, I can't wait till you drop the baby. That way we go have some wine and this and that. And... I ain't gonna lie, I was a little salty. I'm just like, I mean, damn, I know y'all been friends since high school, but like y'all ain't been no consistent friend, you know what I'm saying? Like she just kind of came into your life again, maybe like a year or so ago. Um, but all right, like, cool, go ahead and have some drinks, you know? It, it made me feel some type of way, but I wasn't too, too bitter, you know? I, well, I wasn't bitter at all, but she just like, made me feel a little, a little some type of way. But I like, in a friendly way, like I wasn't like mad or anything, but in a friendly way, I commented underneath that same post that I seen her write to her on, and I was like, oh, I wanna come come along too, or something like that. It was real super friendly. It wasn't like on oh, no hater type of shit, but it was just like, yeah, like invite me too, bitch. Like I was trying to get out the house too. I'm tired of being in the house with all these kids and shit like that. I ain't been out the house since I had a baby, you know, some type of shit. And ain't nobody reply. <laughs> nobody liked it. Nobody hearted it. Thumbs up. Nothing, bitch. Nothing as if like my comment wasn't there. And when that happened, I knew like, okay, this girl's acting really weird <laughs> and like something ain't right. I didn't like, did I do something to her? No, I didn't do anything. We never had an argument. Like, you know, is she mad at me? Is it because of the business is it because like the business are kind of like going slow at this point like i said we we were still like somewhat communicating but we weren't really like talking about the business really at this point like really and i honestly figured that she was just giving me some time to get my shit together because like i said i was dealing with shit i just had a baby all of that um but every now and then we would still like talk about how we needed to start packaging the the, the product into the palette so i, I even bought this big ass, heavy ass, pointless, useless ass presser thing to help press the, the shadows in there because the eyeshadows that we bought literally was a, a big ass, like each color was in a big ass bag full of just eyeshadow. Like not eyeshadows in little packets, bitch, but literally eyeshadow and just, just big ass bag. So we would have had to like scoop that shit up and, and put it in press like it it wasn't really working so we have to figure out another plan which we didn't end up figuring out because of what i'm getting ready to tell you now so and after i say this it's gonna be another story because <laughs> after what happened like i i washed my hands and everything really really quick because i got the point like i ain't the type to like push an issue on nothing so prior to cassie and i coming up with this business plan cassie had her own business she designed clothes and so jewelry and stuff like that at some point as well. So she already had a name for her business and everything, but it was hers, you know what I'm saying? She, it was her product, it had nothing to do with makeup. It was it was her shit. A little bit after I had the baby, but before things got weird as well. So in between the bullshit, bitch, um, she was telling me how she wanted to revamp her business and how she wanted to, you know, relaunch it because she hadn't really been doing anything with it at this time. And she just wanted to start doing more for, with her business. And so, Whenever she said it, I was all for it. I'm just like, yeah, of course. I think that's a perfect idea, a good idea. You know, like I, I'm, I'm supportive as fuck. And me, you know, I also had our business in the back of my mind. I'm just like, okay, maybe, you know, this would kind of give us some time to figure this out. Like she could be focusing on, this is what I'm thinking of mine. So I'm like, maybe, you know, if she start doing a little bit more for her business that she's already established, you know, that'll also give us time to like, at some point figure what the fuck we're gonna do with this makeup because like we we got the we we had most of it we just had to purchase the actual palettes and figure out how we was gonna pack that shit so whenever she said that that's what was in my mind so i'm just like okay that just give us more time to figure shit out now girl one day bitch was just doing her little 
I'll really scroll on Facebook, you know, just scrolling. And she made a post. She, she posted something. And it was about the relaunch of her business. And the first thought before I like actually scrolled down and saw the full post, because you know how like you see the post and then underneath the post is a picture on Facebook. So, you know, the post was kind of lengthy. So, you know, I, I, it wasn't like too, too lengthy, but it was lengthy enough for me not to see the full picture right away. So I'm looking and she's basically, oh, my camera about to die, so I need to hurry up. I'm looking and she's like, you know, I'm relaunching my business, whatever. And, um, you know, just basically promoting her shit. So, bitch, I scroll down. Why the fuck I see that makeup on her shit? Why is the makeup that we went half on on her website? It is not named what we named it. It's something totally different. Like she ended up packaging it, which it was a good idea that how she packaged it. I, I'm gonna give her that credit. She, you know, she packaged it in some tubes or whatever and put the, took some pictures and put shit on her website. And you know what I did? I commented underneath her post and I said, congratulations, I'm super happy for you. She even replied and said, thank you. That was that. I remained friends on Facebook with her even for a while, maybe like a week or so afterwards because shortly afterwards was her birthday and I already had it in my mind like, okay, I know we haven't really been talking and I know I just saw what I saw and it was, it kind of put a bad taste in my mouth, but you know, even though she like, she didn't talk to me y'all. I'm just letting you putting this out there. She didn't talk to me. She didn't say if it would be okay if she did what she did, like nothing like that. So her birthday, her birthday came around and I texted her, I texted her happy birthday. She said, thank you. And maybe like a few days later, uh, something just dawned on me and I was just I was just like, you know what? Let me just take her off of my friend list. Let me just cut it off completely. Cause there's no sense in me continuing this. Like, like even after what I seen, you know, I could have confronted her about it. I could have been like, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's, that's still my money too, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't, something just said, you know what? This is your sign to never go into business with anybody. This is your sign to never trust nobody. And this is your sign to just get on your shit. Because what you've been doing, like, yeah, you just, just had a baby or whatever, but now you need to get up on your shit. And so I removed her from all my, from all my social medias and we haven't talked since. <laughs> and that's the story. <laughs> That's the fucking story, bitch. Um, moral of the story, go into business by yourself. Don't do it with nobody else. Yeah, it might be easier to do with somebody else because y'all can go half on stuff, but I promise you that the end result will always be much better to do it by yourself. I promise you, it's, no, it ain't easy, bitch, but it's easier whenever ain't shit getting taken away from you, okay? So just learn from my mistakes. Like I said, I don't want no name dropped in this video. This is just me to show my experience. Yeah, I was hurt about it, but it just made me stronger. And now, like, I'm so proud that now I, I can say that I built, I created my own brand. Like, everything was by myself. I created my shit. And to this day, I wish her nothing but the best. And I wish us both nothing but the best. Like, you know, let's go ahead and get this money. You know, it didn't work out with us. Even though the way she went about it was, you know, kind of weird and sloppy. But it is what it is. Like, I, I have no hard feelings. I don't hate her. I still love her. But I just know that we just can't be friends. But that's all my camera about it out. Like I said, go ahead and like this video so that the whole other world on YouTube could get to know who the fuck I am. Also comment if you ever had an experience like this. Comment your thoughts. Don't drop no names though, bitch. And subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Hope y'all like my intro to girl. All right, peace.